Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. I'm checking out a new band today. Well, they're not new, but they're new to me. This is Canadian prog metal band Pomegranate Tiger. Of course, we're going to obviously check out a drum playthrough. I'm excited for that. This is Martina Andres featured on The Cryptographer. Mapex. Minel and Evans Heads. I read that in the comments, so. Featuring these products. Nice setup, by the way. Beautiful. Ooh, kick drum artwork looks cool. Feeling the studio is probably pretty sweet. Yeah, look at all those symbols. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, yeah. This looks sick. That's blue lighting, dude. God, what an intro. That little rah foot thing in the beginning is so beautiful. Uh, the mixed meter thing is really nice. Just the way the drums sound. But uh, I think the most mesmerizing part to me is uh, when we, we have a bunch of stuff going around. We're feeling time and it's moving. We get a constant on the ride. But then the left hand takes over going between uh, Tom Snare and Splash. And it's just I could never even imagine having having that much dexterity to control all of that while I'm counting. Uh, sorry, I need it again. I need it again. Uh, we'll skip the little guitar intro. Nice Mortal Kombat shirt, by the way. Finish him. And I feel like he does such a good job of taking everything that's being given us here. It kind of has like an animals, a leaders type of vibe, you know, um, with where our mixed meters are going. And then the chonky, just the kind of like gent sound going on. But uh, expressive use of moving those patterns and rhythms all around the kick or the kit. Sorry, not the kick. I can't imagine. My, I'm not smart enough to do it, but I can sure as hell appreciate it, though. This is so cool. Back five. Hmm. I feel like I'm playing or not. I'm, I'm not I'm not playing anything. It feels like super fast quad splits and then there's this big fat double stops. I didn't even notice the tiny splash by the hi-hat. There's a massive amount of symbols set up. Lots of textures and tone structures to be accessed. I need that again. They're so chunky, man. I went back 20 seconds. Sorry to keep stopping a lot. If you're new to the channel, I do a lot of stops because there's just so much stuff. I did, I couldn't tell if there was like some kind of metric modulation for like a, a second. There. I don't know what was happening. It's too, well, I'm not gonna be able to figure it out. It's too complicated. I'm gonna go back 15 though. Cause I felt like we pushed somewhere just for a second. I don't know, dude. Okay, I was wondering, man, I was loving the fact that we give the guitar all the uh, to get at that room to breathe there. Sounds like a tap, like diddle, like a tap drag exercise. Um, This is cool. This is very, very cool. Anytime people have chops like this, the whole group's got chops, but it's fun to watch the drummer play because obvious reasons. Uh, some of this is so complicated. I don't know how to break it down. I, d I would need to see the uh, chart to actually see what's going on to like understand where those modulations are going and what the new pulse is equaling. But who cares, right? You can just appreciate it from a an input standpoint. I'm going to go back 15 seconds just so we can get, uh, let's go back 20.
Yeah, dude. I want to know what equals to that. Yeah, dude, all the the hertas there. We're just the unison on that, and I imagine it's gonna get split everywhere. Sorry, I just need that one more time. This uh just feels really nice. Sorry, I'm not far enough back. Here we go. That six couple is sick, dude. Someone get this man a life jacket. He's going to drown in it. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Cool him off, though. Cool him off. Uh, so we go from the feet to that extended passage. It's something that's so chunky about coming out in those little points where we have those three-note, eighth-note, or, I mean, who cares about it? The three-note groupings are coming out of the six. That's basically what I'm talking about. They're so chunky with how thick they are with the unison. Uh, I, I went back about 20 to get this. Uh, I want to hear how oh, this is all split again. <laughs> I think what's most impressive on that is the transfer of energy. Like the stick heights, like everything feels nice and forte. It looks, everything's like, you know, like the same height and I don't have any, and there's no interpretation differences between hand height and feet dynamics. So it's like, that makes that run even more impressive because not to downplay the guitars or bass or everyone that's playing the line, but you don't need to switch limbs, dude. You just hear like, you know, this world versus this and other limbs is very, very, very challenging. There's way more cardio and body involved. So I sorry. I told you we stop a lot. I do need it one more time. I just want to appreciate how much uh just consistency of sound is happening here and quality of sound. I love that that's part I love. Yes, that whole section, we're going back. Uh, again, everything, I mean, we could say the same, same thing all the time because obviously the player is very consistent uh, from that, with the approach all the way. But I would say compositionally, uh, I imagine sitting down to write, this was pretty fun. You know, I don't I don't know their, their particular compositional process, but you sit down like, cool, I have a shit ton of rhythms. Let's put this out here. Let's see, uh, let's see how we can put this around. They're like, yeah, cool, no problem. Let me start adding all these crossovers and uh, putting the stuff in. The technique looks so good. I want, is there any marching, uh, like root, heavy rudimental background here? I just, it's um and like a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a box technique. I don't, not, sometimes people say boxy. They mean a negative thing. I just mean, I, I see a very uh, downstroke heavy, like everything's in front of me and uh, in front of you or in front of them and just being produced out. Just very curious on the background. This is pretty fun to watch though. Let's go back to the 215 mark here. Do that. Sorry that we need that fill right there. Jeez.
Mm, I feel it was like right hand. To, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get this one. Oh, we come across. Coming across. See, that's why I'm asking, did, did this person ever play like tenors? Because we do so many passages like that. This is so attractive. There's such a coming out of whatever we're playing, but going to be good about into room, room, room. Those are so clean every single time. What? Oh, what grouping was that? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Was that 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 one two three four? What that one two three? What just happened? I'm not sure. Oh my god! This is good. That was really good. I'm left with a lot of like uh, questions. As well. I would love to see, would love to see the chart and how that starts to how that finishes because prog music where it's everyone has such a high level of like uh, competency on the instrument and they're able to pull stuff off like this. I just, that is so much more interesting to me to know how it's all put together. Um, I want to go to like those kind of concerts I would like to go to live um, and be able to, but the, the problem is you can't do this. It'd be, the ideal version is you stand 10 feet from the drummer and you just, no one's moshing around you. You can just like absorb and be destroyed by like the sound system. And you know, you, but you can watch like really close. Unfortunately, it's not that way, but that's what I would like to experience. Can you imagine that would just be the way to do it? So, uh, that was really nice. The ending was super complicated. I would love to know what the little metrics are there and those rhythm groupings and maybe some substitutions in there because I don't know. It was over my head, but appreciated that one. That was a lot of fun. Hope you like it too. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me live so we can talk about your favorite drummers. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below, as well as the Discord server if you'd like to support me. My Patreon information is down there. Thank you so much for watching. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.